What's going on? Thanks for checking in. Today, have a little bit different video for you. We got the man, Tommy White. I'm here with Stan Stalker Steve, and he's just gonna show us a little behind the scenes of his facilities here at LSU 2023 National Champions, looking for a repeat. So, make sure you stay tuned, check this one out. This is the Marucci Center. Batting cages, weight room, pitching, performance center, and all that stuff. Got double barrel cages, triple barrel cages. Can you pull these back? Can you guys ever practice in here? Like when... um, We can. Uh, they pull back for the coaches committee and stuff like that. We have uh, all of our boosters and everything come in, and uh, we'll have a big ceremony here. So yeah, all the cages go back. It's all just big turf area. We do ground balls and stuff in here too when it's uh, raining and stuff. No, does it ever get like, it doesn't snow here, does it, in Louisiana? Um, I don't I haven't seen it yet, but uh, I know next week's supposed to get really, really cold, so it could possibly snow, I don't know. When it gets cold, do you guys, are you guys always outside? Like, what about rain? Like, do you guys come in here? Rain, rain, like rain a, we're in here. Yeah. You're in here? We're we'll full practice in here. So um, you'll pull that back and yeah. like, do like ground uh, well, balls and stuff? So we use u High too. We have a high school field over there that they uh, let us use it for its old turf. Nice. Yeah, so this is like where the pitchers all do their indoor stuff. Um, yeah, it's, uh, You don't know nothing about this over here? Nah, I, I, I'm rarely over here. <laughs> I think I stood in when it was raining a couple times over here, but that's about it. They got uh, a track man on the wall. Yeah. Well, yeah, the pitchers. They got the Newton mounds. These are the force yeah. plate mounds. Yeah, the pitchers shit. get into it here, man. Yeah. But now we'll go into my bread and butter. Yeah, the the best thing we got, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my bread and butter right here. Yeah, we just had a three-hour conversation with the strength coach here. He's got stuff to do, so we're gonna leave him out of this video, but we'll get back to him at a different time. But this is his area here. He works with just the baseball team, so he gets this entire center to himself. It's a coach's dream. Water. Got a little nutrition center here? Yeah, this is, uh, guys do smoothies, protein, whatever. Where's the water at? I don't uh, know you gotta push. There you go. They got the damn dudes. Our own damn dudes section. We got, on your, hey, hey. We got sweet tea, man. Sweet tea? Like <laughs> That's dangerous, post-workout, no. Look at these, these Aleco plates are sick. I was talking to Coach Jimmy about um, the pit sharks and everything. Yeah. They're pretty good, but. I like them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good for like, I mean, I'm not a big deadlift guy. Deadlifts is like kind of stressing my back and everything. I'll do my stuff. Like when you guys are deadlifting, I'm, I'm on those. The only thing with the pit sharks is like you can load a shitload of weight on these. Yeah, yeah, you gotta yeah. you gotta overload it. So um, I like our rogue belt squats a little bit better at the facility, but I want to get one of these. It's just sweet. You can do like rows and stuff on these. Yeah. These plates are badass. So we got all these racks, Smith machines, everything. They can do everything on. Cable machines on, our, on every yeah. rack. Looks like they use the perch system, which is pretty sweet. That's the VBT. We're partnering with Jim Aware, but perch is becoming a pretty good name of their self. Yeah. Um, hammer strength racks. Yeah, this is. Cable system on everyone. One, two, three, four. You got these, what's that strap? How often do you use these things here? All the time. Uh, no, I use, uh, mine is uh, these ones. So I'll okay. take this. I, I do this before every game. I do it in the dugout before I bat, everything. But I do it in the dugout before I bat, I do it with a band. But this is like no other. So you get in here. So you do this every day? Just works on hip separation. Back knee down, baby. Steve-o. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's that my over. rainbow with the band stuff, all that. That's okay. how I use, but. What else do you do, like pre-game routine in here? What kind uh, of med ball drills do you do? Just the standard. Throw against the wall, all angles, and then I go to my left side to even it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I just, it's really just like getting to my core before I hit. Yeah. That's why I use the water bag before I hit, so I just stop it. Just everything's engaged in the core, working, just waking everything up. Yeah. Uh, and just make sure my hips and everything are loose before I step in there and just try to hack. Nice. So you have a routine every single day, you stick to it, bang. Yeah, every every hitter has a whole routine by a chief and um, gets everybody what they need before they even step foot in the cage. How long does that take normally for a guy? 15, 10, 15 minutes, not bad. Warm up before they warm up. Warm up before they warm up? Yeah, no, yeah. like I'm, I do all my stuff here and then I'm high tea. 
So high T power V, feed the tree. <laughs> there you go. Man. What's um what what do we got cooking over here? So more rats on this side. Yeah. When we got team workouts, everything, all these TVs are on, keep us entertained and stuff. Got some football games going and stuff like that. This um, is a cool setup, Steve. Yeah, it's it's everything you need. You can get the whole team in here working out there. Do you guys do like groups? We'll do pods. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll do pods, yeah. Hitters, so, pitchers? Pretty much. So 6.30, uh, the hitters will go in the fall usually, um, and then the pitchers will go out in the afternoon. Nice. Um, but everybody's kind of like, when season's around, you just get your stuff in when you can. Um, nice. So we'll have like group times, like come work out from 8 to 11, because like class schedules and stuff like that. How many days a week are you guys lifting in season? Um, in season, I'm, uh, I don't know what it's going to be this year. Uh, yeah. every, every guy's different, uh, yeah. depending on your body. But I know I'm right now on uh, four days a week. So Four days a week in season you're yeah. lifting? Yeah. Do you do upper body, lower body, upper body, lower body, or do you do full body lifts? Uh, it depends. Um, so if I miss a lift or I'm, I'm sore one day, then we'll do full body the next day. Yeah. But it's usually upper, lower, upper, lower. But every, and then with core and stuff and movement stuff between everything. So what does your heaviest day of the week look like, like when, when you're in season? Like your heaviest stimulating day, call it. Yeah, uh, so I'm probably just lower body yeah. and, and then running. It's probably the-, the What the kind of lift day. lower body? Would it be a deadlift or would it be a, the I'll pitch charge? Pitch charge load up. Pitch charge um, load up? Yeah, that's, okay. I mean, I'm not trying to lift like crazy. You yeah. know, I'm not the guy that goes in there and tries to see how much I can put up. Um, just uh, maintain, uh, really focus on the, the movement based stuff right now. Just trying to expand everything. Nice. Do you do any like heavy single leg work at all or no? Um, like they, split squats? Yeah, they, 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 yeah. we do. I, right now I'm dumbbells, but we'll get on a safety bar with the band and they'll, they'll be doing nice. crazy stuff. But I'm coming back from some stuff, so I'm, I'm just doing dumbbell work on the splits. All right, sweet. What is this quote over here? Anybody can be good when you're up or down by a lot, but what makes a player special is if they can raise up and take their game to the next level when the pressure is at its highest. Who said that? Kramer Robinson. Kramer Robinson. All SEC, all American graduate, draft pick, nice. Yeah, he's a dog, good dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. That's awesome, we put a quote in the weight room. Yeah. yeah and then what year is that there? That'll be you guys soon, huh? They need to take that picture down and put you guys up there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a, what, what's going on upstairs in this place? Uh, that's, the, that's the cardio. It's where we get pitchers to warm up and all do all their warm up stuff there to get their cardio. You don't cardio know much about in. that up there either, huh? Uh, I did a in the bit. fall. Yeah, I did in the fall. You do I look had, better this year, I had man. to get back into shape when I came back from some stuff. But yeah, it's uh, pretty standard. Oh, nice. Yeah. We just got a bunch of new bikes. Uh, these are all brand new. We just got them in. It's really nice. The ones we had before these, when I was doing them in the fall, the seat was like this. Oh uh, yeah, we don't like a little that. assault bikes. Yeah, we don't like that. Nice that road didn't bike, feel good. Kaiser, but, uh, uh, got yeah. everything, man. This uh, standard cardio stuff. Hell yeah. Got a Stairmaster over Guys, there. These are all the, big the, the dogs. Up there on the board. DJ Mayhew, The Brandon, dogs go on that thing Aaron in the far court. Kevin Gosman. You'll be up there someday, brother. You're okay. damn right. And this right here, Tommy, this is the major league locker room? Yeah, this is where uh, Exit Tiger, return a big leaguer. Uh, that's the motto for this locker room. Man. It's just uh, all the guys that got drafted and um, they get a the little space for themselves and call this place home again. That culture is everything, man, that guys want to come back and train here. Oh, yeah, dude. A lot of schools do not have that, and that's cool that you have your own unique place for them, you know? Yeah, it, it's, this is always a piece of home for everybody. Yeah. If you, if you played here, this is, this is home. Nice. 21, 253 all-time home with you. It's got to be one of the top. What are these numbers here? It's got to be one of the top. All-time big leader at 8-3. All-star selection 25. What a dream, man. Here she is, man. Yep, home sweet home. Man, that look is at, cool. Look at the light, yeah. That is sweet. It's pretty cool. What's the what's the renovations? You said they're doing some res res uh, We got a new hallway. Renovations. Yeah, we got, a, we got a new hallway this year. Um, it's pretty cool, man. Uh, did, did we just pass it? No, did no, it's when you walk in. It's by the locker room and everything. It's, okay. Uh, down the tunnel. This is a park, man. Yeah. Yeah, we got a new Intimidator. That's what they call the billboard. Yeah. 2023. That's so awesome, yeah, man. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Nothing special, just a dugout. 
This is the dugout. This is where the team watches the game. And a lot of good conversations are had. This is your favorite quote right here? One of them, that's what Jay says. By doing common things in an uncommon way, we will command the attention of the world. That's a J. Johnson Prime quote example right of last year, yeah. Coach Johnson quote? I believe so, yes, sir. Obviously the locker room, huh? If you look at like everybody that was, came back from last year, everybody that like played in the Colorado Series, that's our picture now. So that's like my moment, that's the walk off. Alex's is, is the tag. Um, tag. So like, everybody, that's like, was fucking money though, JP, the, the line drive that out he caught from. Yep. Uh, yep. That's cool. Yeah, so um, it's pretty cool how they, they take a moment that we had. All right, on our way out. This is the hallway? Yep, this is the hall. This is awesome. Red this is Sox. pretty cool that it's new. Like, it's got like, like all of our highlights and everything, all the way dating back to Ben McDonald days. It's so, like, it, it'll just be highlights of all of every LSU Tiger. Man, that is cool. Yeah. And we're Dude, under the stadium right now. Yeah, Where so yeah. Yeah, so yeah, this yeah, is yeah. Like, the stands, stands are right, right here. Um, this is our meeting room. That's where all the trophies are. It was cool, like right before we left for Omaha, like he points to the 2009, so let's get another one. And, like we just got on the bus. It was so cool. That's sick. Yeah. And, that then, now, chill, and then we came back and it said 2023, so it was already put out. <laughs> it, was already there. Yeah, it was perfect. <laughs> that is cool. Yeah, they were on top of it, man. They knew the assignment. That's what they <laughs> cool. But yeah, it's uh, just all the history, a little bit on the walls. It starts in here, man. Studying. Chills in this room, man. You gotta wear your purple pull. Yeah, and uh, you pull the big screen up, and this whole, it's just a big word. This is Omaha. That's yep. why you came here. So, I'll take you through the hall. All the national championship teams. Um, and their like celebratory like special photo. That's the 91 team, 93, 96, 97, 2000, 2009, 2023. There's you guys. Yep, that's our dog pile. They have the, they have this one ready for next year, huh? Mm -hmm. They have this spot ready. Ready for next. Year. Yeah, they have it. <laughs> I like that. That's cool. Man. Yeah, it's some cool stuff. I, it was it was like just a normal hallway like. This wall was like all the helmets, like just like helmets for like the MLB guys. And that was pretty much it. Like that was like the wall. Yeah. And uh, but now like we just got everything renovated. There he is. The cool stuff. Oh yeah. The thug. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. I was still in starstruck mode. Uh, this is like where all the pregame meals are. Got TV in here. I think we used to have a PS5. Just ping players pong. Now? Yeah. Just come here and chill. It's are hot. you good at ping pong? Not really. I'm not bad, I play lefty. Yeah, I broke my arm when I got a ping pong table for Christmas, like in second grade, so I just learned to play lefty because I was so excited. Dude. Uh, yeah, we got stuff, like computers over there, guys will do their schoolwork before practice and stuff. Um, just try to be on top of things. And then that's just like all LSU awards and stuff, and then that's school awards. Yeah, and you guys can sit here and do your schoolwork. Yeah, and stuff. I'll, I'll do a bunch of assignments here. Last year, Joe Bear brought his Wii. We put on the big screen. Oh, oh my gosh, those competitive Wii baseball games in here last year. <laughs> yeah, it was it was pretty cool. Yeah, you can literally just hang out here pretty much every day. When you said like when I tell you like you don't have to leave the field for anything, you don't have to leave the field for absolutely anything. That's awesome. Yeah, you, you got, got food here. We, you got people like we get food. Do like, you have like a cafeteria like in here? Or no? Uh, no, it's uh, down the road. Yeah, it's like players they cafeteria. Bring food here for you, you know? Yeah, like like pre and post game, all of it. So this You're is what big time college baseball, this is what you get. <laughs> this is what you get right here. This is the best team in the country. Yeah. The road to Omaha goes through Baton Rouge. Damn right. I'll get you fired up right now, I can see it. Oh, dude. Dude, you had me talk about this for another five minutes, bro. I'll go run through a brick wall. That's awesome. Love this stuff. This is it. This is what, if, if Coach can hammer one, thing to you, it's just one pitch at a time. That's uh, in everywhere. That's in our ring. That's all over the walls, right in front of the dugout. Like when you walk into the game, it's everywhere. One pitch at a time, because that's just the mindset. I mean, you gotta take the game slow. Yeah. Um, so it definitely speeds up a lot of people. And hey, this is Jay Johnson too, Coach Johnson? Yes, sir.
One pitch at a time. One pitch at a time. Anything in life, man, day by day. Yeah. Knock over each domino. Hey, that's a wrap. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you liked that video with the man, Tommy Tanks White. If you don't know who I am, if this is your first ever video, you know, watching our channel, my name is Thomas Summers. I'm a strength and conditioning coach that's been blessed to work with some of the best baseball players in the world. And we pride ourselves on building the strongest, most explosive ball players in the country, you know, whether that's youth players, high school players, college players, and all the way up to that big league level. So if you want to see more behind the scenes action of how the game's best train, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to use the same exact training programs that they use in-house, right here I have a Summers Method Plus app. That is a year-round training program I send out to all my players. If you're a youth player, if you're a high school player, if you're a college player, and if you're a pro player, there's different workouts per age group year-round. And you can get that for a seven-day free trial in the link in the description. So hit that subscribe button for me. We'll catch you next week.